Welcome to Checkpoint Jumpstart Training Series. In this training series, we'll be looking at different Checkpoint CloudGuard product lines. In this video, we'll examine different CloudGuard capabilities that are used to protect both your cloud assets and also your network assets. This is Lesson 2, Security in the Cloud. In this video, we'll look at some of the different security challenges, limitations, and concerns when moving your assets to the cloud. Let's get started. There are a few challenges that any organization faces when moving their network infrastructure into the cloud. One of the main concerns is security. Customers need to be sure that their cloud assets are as secure or even more secure than their data centers. Gardner predicts that through 2022, at least 95% of security failures in the cloud will be caused by the customer. So next, let's take a look at some of the key challenges with regards to the cloud. Security in the cloud poses some challenges. Nearly two-thirds of organizations see security as the biggest challenge for cloud adoption. Cloud vendors advocate for a shared responsibility security model. The cloud vendor will secure the cloud equipment, but it's up to the customer to secure the data in the cloud. The cloud vendor's main responsibility is to secure the cloud infrastructure and they do so comprehensively with multiple regions across the globe and with multiple availability zones and data centers in addition to physical access and perimeter security. But ultimately, it's up to each individual customer to secure the data and assets that they hold in the cloud. The solution is that CloudGuard is a cloud security product. When you spin up a virtual network in the cloud, the default position is that everything can communicate with everything. The cloud vendor has made this as simple as possible because you want to have maximum connectivity in the cloud. Therefore, security becomes more of a secondary concern. The solution, CloudGuard offers top of the line security checks. Another factor is that since data is in the cloud, it needs to be accessible. But who should be able to access it? The cloud vendor offers some very basic native security checks that you can implement, such as access control rules, but that's as far as it goes. There's nothing that prevents malware infections. Solution, CloudGuard protects against unauthorized access. Another consideration when moving into the cloud is that the cloud is dynamic, meaning you can expand and grow as needed and new workloads can be spun up, but various departments of the customer's company obviously want full connectivity to other company assets in the cloud and also on-premise. They don't want to be bogged down with weeks of change management paperwork requests like what firewall rules need to be created, which network or host objects need to be added. The security solution has to be dynamic as well, to grow organically and to keep up with changes that occur within the customer cloud. Solution, CloudGuard is highly scalable and can expand and collapse as needed. The good thing about the cloud is that you only pay for what you use. You can spin up the workload during peak hours and free them up during business downtimes. Solution, CloudGuard is a cost-effective solution with some of the best return on investment. At Checkpoint, we believe that the future is in the cloud and that Checkpoint CloudGuard is the security solution of the future. That brings us to the end of this lesson. Let's take a quick recap before exiting this video. In this video, we learned that CloudGuard is a cloud security solution, that CloudGuard offers top of the line security checks, that CloudGuard protects against unauthorized access, 
and ClarGuard is highly scalable and can expand and collapse as needed. ClarGuard is a cost-effective solution with some of the best return on investment. That completes our second lesson. In the next lesson, we will discuss security challenges when moving assets into the cloud. I'll see you there.